Jesse and Olivia return to the Nether, intent on finding Eligard, the Redstone Engineer. And find themselves in a place of mechanical marvels, redstone rarities. Amazing machines, limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out for our intrepid heroes. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary. To do extraordinary deeds. and go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. At least I'll get to meet Eligard. That is definitely a big win in the plus column. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse! <gasps> Ah! 
all set to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <laughs> each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. 
Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. But some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people, I did. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do. But will I share it with you? Mm, no, afraid not. I might need it, so... But... but... Why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. What do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my uh, bovine lava disco. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> what am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Mm. The perfect fusion of my two loves, cows and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? I told him I wouldn't tell you, but he thinks your music is terrible. That little ah. Uh, I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy, uh, we're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call them like I see them. Ooh, you are just... Uh, well, you... Oh no, my machine! Oh, my cows! Ah, uh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Here it is. 
Beauregard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. God, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man. Look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing something with them, but I'm not sure what yet. But boy, am I gonna find out. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. Are those? Bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. This close to meeting Eligard. Getting excited? Like you wouldn't believe. I wonder what she'll really be like in person. I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Delivery latency? Speedy. Still talking to myself? Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Chelligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... <laughs> hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself then. Six thousand.
1,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Bro I have to confess something, Yellowguard. We're not here to be your assistants. Whew, kinda glad, actually. What with Madame Faintslot over there. <laughs> so, why are you here? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? You know about Ivor? He's created a terrible monster. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close I can practically taste it. I know that making a command block probably seems like a great idea, but you really don't want to do that. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. So do you believe us now? I suppose. So could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or... Whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. That sounds perfect. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on. You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Gabriel! Hello, everyone. It is good to see you. He showed up not too long before you guys. Eligard, my old friend. Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. Maybe with you here, we actually stand a chance against this thing. Oh, how I've missed your optimistic spirit. Oh, and it's especially good to see you, Jesse. I fear that you might be the last face I ever saw. I can't believe you found us. This is amazing. If you hadn't pulled me out of the Witherstorm's clutches, well, let's just not think about that. I came here to the temple, hoping against hope to find other survivors. It makes me glad that, even in these terrible times, this temple can stand as a stronghold, a symbol. Wow, did Petra get away too? Did you see? All that creature left in its wake was bedrock. All those people... Petra. No one could get away. It destroyed my home, too. I barely got away. It needs to be stopped. We are alive. That means there's still hope. Come along. Everyone else is still inside. remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Oh, this isn't going to go well. Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Everyone just coming and going around here. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were gonna be here. That makes two of us then, but reverse for me. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had like the best day. Way to go, Axel. Well, it wasn't easy. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. But I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very... sweet. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people! Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed... Everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? 
You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. What? Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse speaks the truth. We must find a way to defeat that monstrosity. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Aren't they getting along? So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. Wait, Magnus. She may have a point. Soren did have certain... Objects. Inventions. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formida Bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-Bomb before. F-Bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. Do you know where it is? Can we get some? Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found Magnus and Eligard. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him, unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. Stop hanging around here and go get us some super TN. Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. 
Yo, we haven't really gotten the chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. Gabe over there says you saved him from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it? I figured that we needed brains to fight the Witherstorm. And brains means Eligard. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither store. We can hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people. isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! I'm not 
sure. But I'm glad we're not a part of it. Come on, we should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow, this architecture is incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Be quiet! It's just a pointless building! That's all I'm saying! I mean, look at- That's it! I'm going! Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this Super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no! You do not get to be the one who walks away! That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. This place is a dream come true for Lucas. Look at him, he's loving it. Guard the engineer. Gabriel the warrior. If they made a statue of me, I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. Jesse. You okay? Gabriel, are you okay? I know it's not the best time, and I, I don't want to worry you. But there's something I'd like to discuss with you in private, Jesse. But let's put up. Risky, but I need to talk to you about a private matter. It's not the easiest thing to bring up. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thank you for being so understanding. I'm so glad to see my old friends together again. I don't want to ruin it with this. What? You may have succeeded in getting me away from the Witherstorm, but I fear it was already too late. I noticed it not long after you saved me. What happened? The Wither made you sick? Tell me. Do you know what Wither is? The Wither? Of course. We've been... No, just Wither. Or Wither Sickness, to be more descriptive. It is something I've contracted before in my travels, but it always wears off. It seems that Ivor's monster exudes a wither sickness that is decidedly more... fatal. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. No, Jesse. You can't tell anyone about this. Uh Creeper! 
Reaper! Look out! Take my hand! I'll pull you up! My strength is compromised! I couldn't maintain my hold! I'm so sorry! Jesse, are you alright? Go and find the others. Hopefully you can find a way to get down to me or something. Time to be a hero again. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. Something useful in here. He has to. Uh, hello there. <gasps> you trying to interfere with my plans again? I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here, so now you may find it back out again. What are you doing down here? Being rudely interrupted by you. Clearly, I'm here with the order to find Soren's super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The Order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Fine. Stop right there, Ivor! <laughs> Gabriel! You're alive! Against all your best efforts, Ivor. Look at what you've done. I never dreamt that even you could be this twisted. Save your posturing, Gabriel. We both know your words have always been hollow, just like the Order. They're not going anywhere, Ivor. At least not in one piece. I'm not letting him leave either. Good. I'm the only one who can stop the Wither Storm! Not you, not the Order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. Stay and fight, you coward! This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first! Look out, Jesse! He's using a potion of swiftness! We mustn't let him escape! <laughs> uh, I'm like the wind! Go 
this way, Jesse. You could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> Of his invisibility potions. He could be anywhere. Invisible or not, he isn't going to get by me. <laughs> Please, I just stand down. This one's on you, you puffed up fool. There's no time for this. Jesse! Gabriel! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? Found Ivor. Stopped him. Mm. False. You have stopped nothing. The query, have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? That they can destroy the Wither Storm? But they are mistaken. And it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Gabriel's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. <laughs>